During the course of their exploration, the research team finally made a significant and surprising discovery. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Excavating a borehole, which may very well be the solution to all of the questions that haven't been answered yet. The seventh episode of season 11 shows our determined legend a team of explorers making progress and having frustrating hurdles. What's below the hot island surface in the money pit and along the shores of Lot 5 has kept fans glued to the show. The Legina brothers take things a step further to solve these mysteries. Everyone is still wondering, are they getting closer to finding the treasures on the island or are they just moving? The sands come with us as we watch the seventh episode of The Curse of Oak Island's 11th season. Garden Shaft, The Curse of Oak Island takes the team underground this season. Rick and Marty, the Legina brothers, go into the garden shaft. The shaft is 228 years old and could hold the key to the island's secrets, which had been kept for hundreds of years before Rick and Marty put on their gear. Roger tells them about a scary part of the shaft where water can get in. They see this as a major threat to their search for Oak Island's secret treasure, since water has always been the hardest thing to get past. Rick and Marty don't give up, so they quickly put on their safety gear and go into the depths. Going down makes things more tense. No one knows what's going on in the garden shaft. Nothing is known about what's at the bottom, whether it's a trap or wealth. As they walk, they get closer to the bottom of the shaft, and at the very end, there is the key to solving the puzzle of the island. The crew from Duma Contracting has already moved the shaft 87 feet. Their final goal is to go 96 feet deep. Will they finally make the progress they've been looking for? It's possible that the garden shaft will kill someone else in its long and sad past. In the present, Oak Island's strategic core drilling operation has found a seventh tunnel. The Oak Island team is now determined to break through this last tunnel and solve the puzzle of Oak Island. Here a tunnel from the 1600s goes, east to west towards the Baby Blob, an area 80 to 120 feet below the surface with a lot of gold and silver. The team was also having trouble with water getting into the garden shaft which was another direct threat to exploration. An expanding foam will be used to fill in the holes so that water can't get in. The team will work on getting to the tunnel. After they fix the water issue, this cave might hold the key to Oak Island's mysteries if the tunnel can't be reached. Duma Contracting can build a new one. Aladdin's cave at the same time Rick Marty and Craig Tester called the team in the Money Pit area to find out what was going on with the water tests. This is what Dr. Matt Lukeman and Dr. Fred Michael found. It turns out that all of the Wellat tests have organic matter in them. This shows that people have been here before, and it could help you find the prize L16 Deep, which is thought to lead into a big empty cave. This is one of the most interesting ideas. The water has organic stuff in it, and this cave could be where it comes from. It's also possible that the treasure is kept there. The team is thrilled with these findings and can't wait to keep researching. They think they're about to figure out Oak Island's mystery. Rick, Marty, Craig, and the rest of the team are quickly following another hint in the Money Pit area. They have found the mysterious Aladdin's Cave, a 150-foot-deep limestone. Cave sonar and camera pictures suggest that it may be a built structure, and tests of the water revealed levels of gold and organic materials, like wood, that had never been seen before, showing that people have been there. But this is odd because there aren't any known effects at that level that were caused by people. A number of doctors, such as Matt Lukeman, Ian Spooner, and Fred Michael, have recently found new evidence to back this idea. They hope that the cave has traits that were made by people. Rick understands what it means if things are up in that cave away from people. It has a huge meaning. It doesn't make any sense at all. Aside from the base, there shouldn't be any living things there, 
but there is wood. There must be something, since these three tools all point to it. They think that more research needs to be done. They plan to drill a new hole near the bottom of the hole, where they have the most height, and send a second camera down. This could be a clue about where the opening or tunnel to a cave is. Finding organic matter in Aladdin's cave changes everything. It suggests that people have been there, and that there may be wealth waiting to be found. Aladdin's cave is a huge, an interesting hole in the rock that is full of possibilities. It's a great option for tunneling because the clay beds are very close together, and the presence of organic matter like wood shows that people have been there. This strongly points to an object that was made artificially, and the puzzle grows. Borehole Hole Coal 114.5 and Lot 5 Terry Matt, a famous Oak Island scholar and geologist, keeps an eye on Hole Coal 114.5 near Hole 16. They want to find the cave and use a camera to look down to see if there is a way to feel the excitement people are still drilling in Borehole Coal 114.5 and they can only hope that they will reach the cave and find a way in on a different front Carmen leg. A metal expert looks at things that were dug up near Lot 5's. Shore subsurface magnetometry data clearly shows that there is some kind of hidden feature beneath three metal objects found nearby that suggests a connection with Sir William Phipps, a politician and privateer from the 1600s. A spike that was made by hand was possibly a stupper nail used in shipbuilding its flat head, and the fact that it was found in the early 1600s and early 1700s leads to some interesting theories. Is it a piece of a shipwreck? The metal and wood have been taken out to be used again. The chlorine in the nail makes the saltwater link even stronger, which is lucky for us. Sir William Phipps was in Nova Scotia in the 1600s, so he fits the time frame. He is also connected to the Conception, a Spanish galleon carrying a wealth chest that sank off the coast of the Dominican Republic, which makes it even harder to find him. Most importantly, the English crown only got a small part of the Conio wealth. What will happen to the rest of them is still a mystery. Are these things proof that Sir William Phipps got on Oak Island with the lost Conio treasure? It's interesting to think about. The potential as more information comes out from Aladdin's cave and Lot 5. The mystery on Oak Island grows. Drilling in Borehole Kale 14.5 hits the mysterious cave at a depth of 142.5 feet in the Money Pit area. This makes a hole that is more than 3 meters high. This is great news because geologists Terry Matten and Moya McDonald Think the cave is a geological mystery that may have been made by people. A high-definition camera used for more research shows what looks like a square-headed bolt on the floor. It may have been made by a man. This makes it possible for people to be inside the cavern, which has led to rumors that it might be linked to the island's famous treasure, even though the evidence is still not clear. Oak Island historian Charles Barkhouse stresses how important it is to do more research. We are hoping that there is some evidence that humans ever were in the cave and that the sonar can get into it and map out the subsoil of the cave as part of their work. Jack Begley and his archaeology team dig into the mysterious stone building on Lot 5. The dig got bigger, and they saw that the scale was even bigger than they thought. In addition, they find things like pipe roots and nails. Based on this find, the building was built before the money pit and may have been a log house. No one knows for sure what it was used for, but the team thinks that a more organized historical dig will help them figure it out. They hope that soon they can figure out where it came from. The proof from both Aladdin Cave and Lot 5 makes the case for people living on Oak Island before the money pit even stronger. The square-headed bolt and pipe stem are tantalizing hints that it may have been used to hide wealth or for an earlier settlement. The more the team digs into what they found, the more slowly the island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. 
there is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. There is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. There is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. There is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. There is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island's mysterious past comes to light, drawing them closer to the truth. But just as everyone is going crazy with joy, nature throws a nasty curveball. There is a typhoon heading straight for Nova Scotia. It causes widespread flooding and presents an unexpected task for the Oak Island team. The rapid flooding of the garden shaft is the worst thing to happen in the Money Pit area. There is 30 feet of standing water that stops them from going down, so the team has to give up on their original plan. So far, no one knows where the leak is coming from, but people are starting to think about the famous flood tunnel that the Enlo company found in 1804. Is this a clever booby trap meant to keep wealth hunters away and keep the island secret? Safe that thought sends chills down the spines of even the most experienced travelers. Roger Ford says it's so typical, with a heavy tone of frustration, that the best men in the world are digging a hole, and we have the same problem that every other man has had for 20 years. This hurts, and it adds another twist to the Oak Island puzzle that was already very complicated. Read what other people have said about what they think this season of Oak Island will be like below. Don't forget to like this movie and follow the channel to see more. Have a nice day.